had a lot of questions before joining the Air Force. One of those things were, uh, am I really going to like it? And I love it. But like any other job, the Air Force does have its uh, ups and downs. Today I'm going to talk about that. What's really good on my day ones? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple weeks since I last created a video. I apologize. Uh, life has been busy, but I've been doing my best to not be so busy. That's, that's not gonna happen ever, but <laughs> just like any other job, the Air Force does have its downs. And I need to discuss this because if I wasn't, there would be no full transparency. And I don't want you to come into the Air Force and be like, Santos told me to do it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're like, man, this sucks. I don't want that for you. I want you to be able to come into the Air Force and embrace what, what possibilities might happen. So the first thing I do want to discuss is uh, their information systems. They just got MHS Genesis, which is the bare bones kit of Cerner. I've worked with Cerner, I've worked with Epic, I've worked in Meditech. Any information system you, you, you can think of, I've, I've worked with it. This has to be, I won't say the worst. I thought Meditech was pretty bad. I have to say, the bare bones kit of Cerner is possibly Oh man, I don't know how to describe it. So, you know, as a nurse informaticist, I like streamlined information. And a lot of the information is streamlined, however, working with it on the back end, is, it kind of gives me a headache. Let's just say, like, when you work with MHS Genesis, you're going to get really frustrated about certain aspects of the charting. Like one, the fact that it freezes every 10 seconds. Hard to put in certain things, and you don't know where it's at. You're double charting. Those are the issues that we do have on the outside. And we, we don't really chart by exception in the Air Force. So like a lot of people really do be charting a lot or excessive. So that's like one of the things that uh, I'm wanting to put out there. The other thing is, is when the military tells you to jump, you have to ask how high. Especially when they tell you to jump 10 feet high. You gotta jump 12. What do I mean by that? Uh, you gotta do good. You gotta do good at your job. Sometimes the job that you do aren't going to be jobs that you necessarily like. Yeah, I'm a nurse, but I came in with experience and that part of my career is easy. But the whole progression of airman and officer concept, you, you're supposed to develop. So there are certain aspects where I'm like learning just to go with the flow because a senior officer told me to do something, so I have to do good at it. There's a book called Mastery. I forgot who the author was, but the book Mastery discusses the fact that when you when you do a job, you have to do your best and master it. Do good at it because it's your job. Another thing I wanted to put out there is time. The Air Force is going to take a lot of time from you. And I wouldn't say it's, it's overbearing, but sometimes they're going to demand a lot from you. And it's just one of those things is like you have to put your they tell you to find balance but I find easy balance because I'm already good at the clinic side, but now let me get good at the officership side. Well, finding the balance to it takes time, and that will that that will eat you up if uh, you can't if you can't learn to swim fast. And in the Air Force, they don't really expect you to do that until you hit O3. As a junior officer, like O1, O2, you have time to play that I'm dumb card. And uh, I wish I, I had a little bit more time to do that, but. It's just one of those things where uh, you you yourself have to figure out like what you, what you like to do in your days off, what keeps you sane, and how do I compensate for for sometimes a heavy workload. Last thing I want to talk about is full transparency. This is something that I have a hard time wrapping my head around is the full transparency portion. I think it's just because there's certain information that shouldn't go past a certain level. I haven't been around long enough to actually see what happens at that higher echelon level, but I know that the higher echelon, and I know, I know that higher echelon has a lot more responsibilities. So trust me when I say that I'm trying my best to learn and bloom where I'm planted. And it's not that I'm complaining. It's not. I love what I do. but. This is just me being fully transparent with you guys who who are going to come into the military. You guys need to hear some of this stuff because sometimes you can't fix a broken record player and sometimes it's just going to be on repeat. The thing of it is you have to have that spirit and that tactfulness to work around a broken record and ask yourself how are we going to play this music because people do come in into the Air Force and have a horrendous time 
I have a friend who is having a terrible time. Do I blame her? No. Something's happened, but at the end of the day, she does not want to stay. So there is that sad reality, and I wanted to talk about it sooner than later because it, people need to hear some of this information, and sometimes they don't hear it. And when they come to a place in their life where they think, like, you know, this is the greener pastures, you come to find that you create the greener pastures. Does that make sense? Well, besides that, I hope you guys are doing well. I've talked long enough, and uh, I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I'm hungry. Y'all take care.